Hi five, guys. Four. Three. The ninth two, ever. One. Zero. Subscriber tournament. And we are into our first game. All right, so we've got the white pieces. I'm going to be playing D4 today. I'm going to be trying to just rep the, uh, you know, we've been doing that course. I don't know if you've been enjoying it or what, guys. But, yeah, we've been studying that D4 course. So here you can, uh, let me just change this, make it a little bit smaller so you can see a bit more of the time. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be putting our D4 course to the test. So let's get, like, a normal Queen's Gambit position. We're against Gaul Anko. Should I give you the back story to this one, guys? I will. Golanko, there, there was some controversy around him. Last week he was Mimek, and then he got his account banned. Now, that they're just the facts. I'm, I'm not trying to stir any controversy, but, you know. Uh, we're going to... I think we're going to step out of this. Actually, the move is this, isn't it? Oh, no, I've misplayed this. I actually know this position. But this should be fine as well. Yeah, the move is queen here. But now we get a very nice bishop, actually. So they're trying to hit my bishop now. So we hit their rook, and now their, their knight seems a little bit misplaced, potentially. Um, I, was, I was planning on doing a beatboxing intro, like... <laughs> I was practicing, but then the counter started coming on 10-9-8, and I, uh, I froze, so... Yeah. So I, I want to take advantage of this loose piece, it looks very strange. So there... They take, but we can just capture with a pawn. Um, and then the knight just looks a bit silly. And we, we can break with this pawn, hit the rook at the same time. Okay, they're really trying to trade my bishop off. Um, What I, This seems a bit fancy, but what if we develop queen here? They can't take because of captures. Um, this is a little bit fancy for a five-minute game, guys. We're inventing theory. This is certainly not what John Bartholomew taught me in the course, but <laughs> if this we take, this we, we take here. Um, yeah, getting a little bit spicy, and we're trying to play this. And they're threatening this now, so we can develop. Hit the knight with tempo. What can the knight do? Not much. Here or, or this? I think we probably should get another piece out. But if here? Because I don't want the queen to take here. Um, yeah, this is a very odd position. we got a piece hanging there. We've got a piece hanging. We've got an extra pawn. We're maybe threatening the rook. We're semi-pinning this pawn to their rook. Very complicated straight out the back, guys. And it doesn't look like we're going to get castled anytime soon. Or if we are, I don't think we're going to be safely castled. We might even consider just castling queenside and pressure on this pawn. And, you know, probably king can sneak over here and it's okay. Go for a big attack. Well, this looks like a very interesting game already. Mm. Did I get that? And they're saying they're going to get this. And then I go here. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> uh, so if this, check. Oh, and that just leads to mate, right? Um, so do we give up the rook? Do we take this? Let's take that and, and flee with the king. I think that's our best bet. And then if they check, I can develop here. Um, actually, this pawn is a threat. Yeah, <laughs> I think we've totally thrown this game. Um, not going to lie, I'm a little bit... Um, I don't know what the word is. Knowing that this guy got banned, I, I'm, I don't know. It throws you off a little bit. But here, here... Uh, but yeah, we, we have misplayed this anyway, regardless, so... I mean, I don't know how we actually stop this pawn. <laughs> uh, take here. This. Try and get at least the bishop covering this square. 
and that at least we can capture the pawn and sack the bishop. It's still pretty bad, but I mean, what's the material count? I think we're even on material. Where we've got this knight hanging, you know, if they take take, I win the knight. It's it's very messy, and my king's a little bit weird. So they're saving their knight now, knowing that I can't even get back and stop this pawn. Uh, so. Oh, and I can't even hit the queen. If this queen just takes. Um, so this to get the king over. I mean, we're going to have to sack the bishop. But this is pretty much over, guys. But I was thinking if we can move king here to protect the rook, at least we can move the knight and, and yeah, try and do something. But um, yeah, pretty sad. So something like that. Check. We flee this way. Um, this this feels so overextending because they can just go check, get out of the rook attack, and then we go here. They just win the win the knight. So maybe like this, which looks <laughs> this really bad. Um, and they might just step closer with the queen. Something like that. Um, if here they get check, it's the only move, but they, then they're coming in with the knight and it's going to be mate. And then they're going to win the rook. So, if they don't do that, maybe this then? Then this? This doesn't seem like the most efficient way to mate me. Um, so if we sack here, what are we down? We'd start down too much material now. Um, we were a bit greedy in the opening there, I think. Um, I mean, to try and hold on to the knight, this... I don't know. They just played a move. Trying to get the queen back if we get a chance. Hopefully they sack their queen or something like that. <laughs> just hoping for an absolute blunder. They've got two pieces sort of sort of undefended. Uh so now can we get the queen back? If here we go here. Queen's covering this square now. Um if here, maybe we can block with the queen, but uh we're down four points of material, so we need to nick this knight somehow. We're just gonna move quick. There's no increment, so uh, yeah, I don't think they've not got any more checks here though. No, they do. Um, this, I don't know, we're just going to keep repeating. Hopefully they go queen here and I take. Uh, that would be nice, guys. <laughs> uh, right, let's let's get ready. We're going to need to get on this time crunch now, so we're going to need to stop. Just woken up, I was looking pretty tired when I saw myself. Really, my eyes are all like... <laughs> Come on, hang your queen, please. Give check and hang your queen. Uh, this is not this is not the optimal start to the uh, the weekly tournament. In no, this check wins the wins the queen. Uh, this I don't know. Yeah, so if here check, they take my queen. I don't know this. Get the rook involved. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, have I got anything? Oh no, but now they come in here. Uh, looks pretty bad. And now the pawns are coming. Uh. Oh, hello. I'll have that bad boy. Uh. Angie Queen? <laughs> oh no, this doesn't look good. Um. Uh, pre-moving now? <laughs> was that mate? What was that? Wait, um, that did look pretty matey. Wait, we had this though. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know, it threw me off the whole scandal there, but... 
let's um that was an interesting game out the opening it was what was it? It's Queen's it was Queen's Gambit, but then I started getting all funky. <laughs> What's everyone saying in the chat, guys? Join the uh, to get in these, by the way, to get in these tournaments. Join the uh, free Discord community, and uh, you can see everyone's just chatting on the side. Everyone's real wholesome. Uh, oh, so I've been learning the Karakan. Oh wait, but that doesn't work against uh, D4, does it? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, this is a normal position. I've been here before. So you just push this now. And then bishop captures and you're happy. Uh. Yeah, get my morning coffee in me. All right, so we've not got an increment, so we need to be careful. Uh, so pressure here, maybe, uh, maybe this break, try and develop the knight, would be good. We take... Then we get the knight out like this. Or this, and then we pressure in the center a lot. We can throw in this move. Now this piece is... The bishop is now interposing the queen's defense of the pawn. The key. The key pawn there. So they just... But I can go like this, right? Check. We have to go back, and then we win the pawn. Okay, grab that. And now the, the whole center falls apart. We just need to get castled now. We're all right. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh no, we cannot take because of this check winning my queen. <laughs> Will he notice? Check. Um. Yeah, maybe we should have looked at that tactic. Maybe we get the uh, this piece out. So now we're what? Down a, down a yeah, little knight. Um, bosh bosh they can't take this so we've just thrown the game there to be clear but uh <laughs> again if I go here this is this tactic so uh yeah I don't know if here it was sort of weakens the structure um maybe we can put our king in here it stops them ever really castling um but we've got to be careful about them attacking us now um, have they got any checks? They've got this check, we block. If here, we take... Uh, this just looks like a petulant move in here. Let's try that, I'm not sure. Holds this pawn as well, one more time. So if we can get castled, I think we can find counterplay here, guys. Their king's never going to be safe. We've got... Mm, so they're going after this pawn. Uh, we give the pawn, then we can't castle. So we push the pawn. This looks really bad, guys. <laughs> really bad. Um, now can we get castled, though? That's the big thing. Um, maybe. We're going to go after this. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> but then we get... Oh, God, this is so bad. Um, we lose a rook. Um... So, not an excuse, guys, but I had my first ever pint last night after lockdown. Feeling a bit groggy today. Um, oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> right, so the position's falling apart. To be clear. We're down 10 points of material, but we are against an 1,100. So, maybe. Uh, maybe. So that covers this check. Um, yeah, we, we need to get our queen in and start chasing their king down. That's an annoying move. Um, we've only got two minutes to navigate this as well, so... It, we, wait, we, we should take that though, right? I'm not really seeing the actual board. Like I, I couldn't see that. <laughs> um... So, if this they take, we go here, but then we get some sort of activity. Um, this is just mate. So this, ugh, and then back. Okay, and now uh, maybe this, I don't know. See this guy, what, you know, what are you doing? 
You're going after my rook. So if I just tuck in <laughs> and just say, I'm going to charge at you with just my queen down, uh, down all this material and ask him what he's going to do. But actually, I've not got any more checks after this, so it, it is over. How can I complicate if this... I've not, I've not even got any pawns to like create some mischief. Yeah, after that, there's just nothing. Um, I don't know, this? <laughs> there, there. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, wait. Um, wait, but now we get checks and stuff. Uh, this one? Hmm. Still not really anything for me, is there? Go after maybe this if the bishop ever moves, but it's, I mean, it's just that as well. Yeah, good move. Um, maybe we just go for a draw if they let me. But uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I right, guys, I I don't know. So what's happening today? I'm not. I'm not seeing it. Or in another game. Um, right, let's get some more coffee. Mm. Yeah, I've lost... I think I've lost two games before in the sub-battles. Um, like in the whole first eight weeks. And today I've just lost two in a row. Um, so, not the best. Oh, that guy's going to be rubbing it in as well. That OK Chess player guy that I just played. He's been trying to beat me for weeks. He keeps challenging me like all the time. <laughs> and I just keep giving him one game and then leaving. He keeps just wanting rematch after rematch until he wins. That's his first win. He's just saying best game of his life. <laughs> uh, if we take... Oh, here? Oh, it's, uh, it's bad, but I sort of want to lose now just for the drama. Just for, like, the, I don't know, create a losing streak. It's quite funny, isn't it? Um, if this, this, double the pawns. Maybe castle? I think, have we got, ca I don't think we've got castled before. So we'll probably be fine now. I just think we weren't really getting out the opening. So maybe we take this bishop. This knight's nicely pinned. Um, if this, we give them... Oh, opposite side castling. Wow, this could get spicy. So if this... I'm going to put pressure here in order to get this moving. Uh, if takes, takes. Uh, we've got some pressure on... Oh, no. Wait, we throw in this move. No, because they take back with the... Thing in check, but they take out the queen and after this they can take the pawn. This, this. I'm gonna take this. I wanna take that bishop off the board. And then we take the knight, but annoyingly they can take the pawn and it isn't hitting the pinned piece. Oh, that is such a bad move. <laughs> uh yeah, if they took the pawn or the queen, they could take the pawn, but now, now it's just a, a fork. That's unlucky there, William, sorry. Um, yeah, that lit literally take the, the, with uh, the, any of the other two uh, pieces. Yeah. That's just, uh, yeah, if you see a pin piece, guys, attack it with a pawn. That's what you got to do. Bosh. Um, I don't know, slide back. So we're losing this, but they probably shouldn't take this. Yeah. Honestly, take this pawn as well. They, these are just, it's just giving us open lines to mate. But we'll happily take with the queen and uh, start attacking this square. Uh, we can't quite play that if they take. We've not actually got a good continuation after, like, queen here. 
Um, so if we take, they take, we just take with a pawn. Keep all the pawns together is pretty nice. Is this going to come start hitting my bishop? The, the nice thing about my position is the bishop can slide back and stop this rook from targeting this key square. Um, I mean, we just go for this, though. Hit the rook, threatening this. And uh, let's see how they can stop both threats. Yeah. Yeah, hydrated. I hope you're all doing well today, guys. I'm sorry I'm playing bad. If you if you like seeing me play bad, hopefully it's funny. Um, then it's all right. But if you want to see me play well, any of my other sub battles, I tend to tend to do all right. Um. Uh, so many tactics we takes. I don't think so. I'm just gonna go in with this. I mean, there's also this pawn falling because of the bishop. Yeah. This looks pretty brutal, doesn't it? Bosh. And then where's the mate? Is the, the mate should be here. Next move. Yeah. Oh, I won one. <laughs> I was sort of hoping for like an adoption or something. <laughs> All right. So what was it? Right. Default. Right. We've done a course on this. I... But as soon as I get into an actual game, I stop playing the moves and I start being fancy, like trying to pin the bishop to the rook and all that stuff I did in that first game. So, all right, let, what is the actual line here? I think it's this. Let's pretend we're on chessable and we're doing the course. And then this. Then this. So against that, I think, I think we were happy taking on the double pawns. We just pinned the, the knight. Now, Pac-Man's a solid player, so... Let's take this seriously, come on. Uh, so there's this tactic in the king, but then they block and defend the piece. That's why it's always good to get a pawn to this square, because it stops the knight coming out and defending the bishop, so there's always tactics there. So, do we encourage the capture? I think we do. Well, we throw in this first, and then, then encourage the capture. So they've got to take with the pawn, I think. Yeah. So if they take with the queen, we take and damage the structure. Um, this? No. Probably just complete the structure by playing this. It's, it's probably the safest move in the position. If they want to take, we're very happy. We get another pawn towards the center. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. What, what are we looking for here? So... Bishop normally comes to this square, slides back, threaten a mate there. And now the crucial move that people don't know um, playing against this system, D4, you've got to go knight here to defend this knight because otherwise... Whoops, I meant to, uh, <laughs> to right-click. <laughs> otherwise, this sort of idea is, uh, is quite dangerous. You need to add... There, there needs to be a knight on this square to defend that square. Because as soon as you start playing pawn moves like this, it's pretty weakening to the structure. You know, you get your bishop in. And, um, we just slide back. We want to play this and this. And then take the knight, they take, we get mate. Oh, wow. Now we're definitely going to sack. And definitely with the knight. So we maintain this pin. It's extremely annoying for black. Uh... But I mean, the engines, sometimes, you know, I've been playing these 2100 bots. Like, sometimes the engines do do stuff like this. So, you know, I think it is playable. It's just you got to be super precise. So now we slide back to go for this. Um, so that defends this square, to be fair. And now if we pile on pressure here. Uh, looks pretty good, doesn't it? And now maybe just castle. After they defend this. Well, it actually is already defended, isn't it? Defended by the king. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, it looks a bit dubious, doesn't it? So if this... This... 
They take, we take. They take, we take. We're just winning the rook there, are we? Actually, no, because we can take with a rook, can we? I'm not sure what that does. I'm going to castle. And then send this pawn. Yeah, probably a good move, actually, that getting the queen in here now. If they want it. Um, so we could go here to stop the queen coming in, but it's a waste of a move. Uh, so we we just got to send it now. Bosh, come at the king. Smash things up. And once we get an open file, guys, honestly, we could just give this pawn. This pawn is in the way. We just want to bring the rooks. That's it. They're trying to counter strike, but we're just going to... We've got, we've got this pawn very well defended. We can choose which way to capture later. And we're just coming in with check now. They, if they want to take, we take here. And if they take, we take the queen. So, um, that looks like a strong move at first glance. Um, if this, or if this. And after takes, we take here. That looks interesting. And it's, it's deflecting. Oh no, I was thinking it was deflecting a defender of the knight, but actually the, the other knight covers. As I said, they've got to do. They've got to play this, and then their position's much stronger. Um, so if this, this. Hmm. Oh yeah, a rook as well. Um, do we, if we play that? I really don't want to move the queen. It seems like a slowish move. All right, we've got to actually think here. Uh, if here, we're going to go like this, right? Doesn't look that good. If this, they take the rook, we... I don't really care about this bishop, but I don't want them taking my bishop. My bishop's pretty strong. Um, I'm just thinking attacking-wise. Do I take here? If they take, it gives me a few more squares to work with. I can go like this. No, because the knight... Night covers, doesn't it? Uh, all right. This doesn't seem like the best move, but it's it's a move. And then after this, this I assume they're going to take my rook, but this pawn looks like a monster as well. But we can't stack the rooks. We're going to have to stack queen and rook now. But actually, after this, they've got to take back, and then we get in, and then we recapture. Looks pretty interesting. We've given up a bit of material now. We're going to be down a piece, but can have a big attack. Um. Mm hmm. I think so. This. And then. If Queen takes. Queen takes looks okay. Stops this coming, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, oh no, if knight takes, it's just over though, isn't it? Wait, if we check... Yeah, no, it's, that's just... Because then we win the rook, right? With check, and then win the other rook. And then promote this pawn. And... If this, they win my... Uh... Probably best move, right? They can win my bishop. Bit annoying. If they got any checks, that's the only thing. No. So I can come in here and now trade the queens, and then that simplifies things. And it'll be with check if they want to defend the queen. So check, take the queen, then take the bishop, then push the pawn. Uh, right, we are up material, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, because we're going to win the bishop. Yeah, so we're definitely up material. This, this. Take this, and then this pawn's coming. I mean, we don't even have to take back. We can just go this. And then how do they stop promotion? Well, we can take back. It keeps things simple, doesn't it? Actually, in light of that move, we probably should have gone up. So if this is trying to win some pawns... Um, if this... Looks pretty good, doesn't it? We could even sack the rook here for the knight. 
We've just got so many pawns. Okay, we're doing that. Weird. But now this, hitting the knight. Uh, we, we come here. 30 seconds left. Let's see if they see this threat. Uh, they're going to try and fork my <laughs> king and rook. Um, probably do that. Oh, they've got it, they've got it. <laughs> it was still promoting. Uh, they're they're going to have to sack the knight now for... What am I, what am I doing? Um, whoops. <laughs> oh my god. I'm really trying to throw this. Um, we hit the knight. Uh, we push these pawns. Uh, this... Okay, uh, coming around. Check, uh, this, uh, this. Uh, this. Yeah, we tried to make a meal out of that one, didn't we? <laughs> but, um, yeah, just about. Mm. Yeah, just about regaining some strength here. Getting the coffee in me, come on. Let's end on a high. That was a really bad start. I'm just trying to recover. So let's see how this Golanko guy is doing. Um, yeah. I'll be analysing that guy's, uh, that guy's games. And everyone's games after this, guys. We normally do like a... I don't think I did it last week, but I go through and analyse all the subscribers' games and like point out... Well, this week I'll be pointing out where I went wrong. I really want to look at that first game I played. The second game, I just I just hung some pieces, I think. But that first game was an interesting, like, theoretical one. Um, yeah. Yeah, like and subscribe if you're enjoying this series, guys. Mm. Also, update. Little, uh... <laughs> I know you guys like these little... I've got, uh... It's like, it looks like a bear skin or something, doesn't it? It's just a blanket. I'll put that on the wall, so... Should be... Even more noise cancelling. I've got that pink blanket as always. And then I've put a bit of carpet. See that there? The strip of uh strip of carpet just dangling, nailed into the wall. <laughs> so yeah, full setup. I'm always looking for little ways to improve. The floor is is like laminate floor, so I'm not sure that's probably not the best for noise, but yeah. So let me know if you can see a difference in the noise quality, guys. Uh, okay, chess player. Oh, this is the guy that beat us. Okay. So let's... Um, so assuming he plays the same sort of line as he did last time. Yeah, wait. I can't remember where we went wrong. So let's just play. Right, I'm going to really, really try and just hold myself back. Chess. About refrain and... Logic. Um, yeah, let's just play some theory. Solid theory moves. I feel like theory is take here. But let's do that. I don't know why, but um, yeah, check out the full the the playlist, guys. Is called John Bartholomew's uh, D four course. I think this is the move. And then this, lining up here. And again, they've got to know this move to protect the knight. Otherwise, there's some, like, threats along this diagonal. But this looks supernatural, so... Uh, so, Bosch, kick this bishop. We're happy to take towards the center. We get an open rook. Um, yeah, let's do that. And now here... And then we look to add some pressure. So, I mean, this is still a good move because we're just threatening to win a pawn. Uh, right, let's just be aware of the threats, though. Let's not. Yeah, last time it was a, <laughs> it was a King Rook fork, wasn't it, that sealed the deal for them. Good move. Yeah. Out of this, though, adding pressure to the knight. 
Um, we, yeah, we can't tolerate the knight there. We're going to have to take it out. They take, which actually makes me want to do a little swivel, putting the queen in front and uh, going after this. Now if we castle, looking pretty solid. Okay, so we got out the opening, guys. Spent a minute there just to make sure we were all right. Uh, that's the point at which I can just lose. I'm going to start sliding this back. Um, yeah, maybe they're slightly weakening their king with this, maybe. Oh, wow, great move. Closing in my, my big attack. But I, this is just an absolute must, guys. We are trying to open up the rook. After this, this, have they still got me closed in? That's actually a really good plan from my opponent. Um, if this, I don't see how they can hit my rook. I'm just going to move this and stack. Bring the queen. They could play this, but then that weakens their king. I don't know what that does. Trying to get, they can't get queen in there though, can they? So, uh, so I want to play this and just take some space. Maybe get that and that, and then maybe get our queen out a bit easier somehow. Does this check? It doesn't do anything, though. Um, so now our light square bishop is bad, admittedly. What if this? I, I think first we want to start to try and connect the rooks. So let's play this. Do we? Oh, I don't, I, this bishop's a bit of a problem piece, isn't it? Yeah, they've done a really good job here of suppressing my bishop. So we need to change the structure slightly, actually. So this. Yeah, I mean, this seems natural now. Uh, bring another rook. And then we're going to have a lot of pressure on this pawn. But they can reinforce. And they've also got the, the bishop covering. So if this, does that help? No, I, I want to keep the rook a little bit more active. Uh, so we've only got two minutes left. So we're probably going to push these pawns in the middle to open up my dark square bishop. And then after this, this, we'll be able to bring the queen. This doesn't threaten anything. So uh, let's do this, this. I like this pawn here. I'm not going to move that because it stops the knight jumping in. Uh, so like that, and then we can get our queen out a bit better and threaten some stuff here. So if this... Um, um, what do we... Uh, what do we... This. This looks interesting. Putting our bishop on a little bit of a better square. And then going for this, this, with check, winning the knight. The knight's moved, so the knight's coming round, hitting our, hitting our rook. So if this, or all the way back. Uh, if this, there's no knight jump which hits my rook, so I think this is okay. This square? Currently covered. So here, I mean, they're, they're not actually threatening anything. They could play this, though. And we'd have to sack the rook, so... Wow. Yeah, they could play that. Um, so what if this? If here, we just move. Right? A little bit scared. Actually, there's this pawn, though. And then this is a, a pin. So if this, this. Okay, they don't go for it, but now we can bring our queen. In, uh, get it involved and, and just come back. But uh, who is even winning this? Um, I don't know. This is a nice move because it hits everything. Um, maybe they go like this. See, if we do go back, like, yeah, it defends every threat, but they can just take and give us double pawns. Maybe have a better end game. So. Oh, they don't. Now this move is a given, right? Uh, yeah. Threatens mate. Uh, pressure here. Maybe this to follow it up. 
uh, putting more pressure on the knight, assuming the defender, mate. Uh, yeah, they do. All right. Um, really, honestly, really well played from OK Chess player. He's, yeah, this is definitely the best I've seen him play. So if this, uh, let's try that. We've not got much time now, guys, so we need to be careful. We're threatening this always with check. Right? Yeah, that one. <laughs> I'm not even seeing the diagonals there. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, hmm. So if this, this trying to dislodge the knight. But what if they, what can they actually do? This. But right, so if, if this here, mm. this here takes here. We can never take that last one, so that we've got a decent continuation, I think. Uh, unless they go for the pawn. But this looks alright. Going after this, trying to unleash our bishop and queen. Ah. Uh, yeah, this, this bishop's weak, but we've got an exceeding threat, I think. So, should be okay. Trying to reclaim some honor. Against OK Chess player, the 1100. Um, yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a great move. Um, but, but it, it looks good. But this, surely. And now we're threatening this. How do they defend it? It's actually very hard to defend. I don't know how they. Uh, no, I don't know how they defend it, actually. Right, let's get the last sip of coffee. Fully activated. Um, yeah, so apologies for them first two games, guys. I know some of you watch this for entertainment. Some probably watch for, like, instructional value, so... Um, wow. This, though? Oh, my God. Um, if this... There's no more checks. And if they take... Oh my god, I've got 10 seconds left. I've just got to play a move. They can't take the rook, I thought. Um, because of mate. This. Uh. Alright, uh... How do they stop this, mate? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I really hope they can't, because... <laughs> seven seconds. Um, they've not got any checks. I'm just trying to do this. Um, uh, there's this as well. So this, and if not this, will be winning. Okay. All right, so five minutes is my weakest time format, guys. Uh, to be fair, there's one minute left. I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe we'll get back into some 10 minutes and I'll reassert my dominance in the sub battles because the last two times, this Mimic slash Golanko guy, with the controversy, has won. I'll be analyzing these games after. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.